we're not scared of death anymore because we've seen so much of it. I joined the Marine Corps really after 9-11 happened. It was a big push, and it was an opportunity for me to go do something that I was passionate about. I've never really been a scared person. I've been a, uh, you know, fear is natural, courage is a decision kind of person. But I, once I got there, it was like, oh my God. Yeah, the post 9 war just got even bigger because Iraq's kicking off now. This was May 2003. So Iraq kicked off just a month prior. They turned the knob up on us big time. Like, y'all going to war. Y'all gonna die. I mean, I, but I, I, you're, it's funny, it's all relative because after real combat, that, that's like, that's just a, like a laughable comedy. In 2004, we got there. Uh, we were in that, that was our AO, was Abu Ghraib prison and then around Fallujah, Karma area. First day, we got hit with an ID. You know, it was, it was literally game on. It was the deadliest place in the world at the time. Not just because it was a combat zone in Iraq, it was literally the most dangerous city in the entire world. The platoon I was attached to started out with almost 70, came out with 19 in less than three weeks. The first Marine I saw get killed, got sh basically got shot. We were leaving the house, just cleared it. Some guy ran in the back and just sprayed some rounds in it. They both, two of them hit him and it hit him right outside his plate and he basically suffocated to death in front of us. He was just, his lungs collapsed and he's just staring at us like this, you know, trying to breathe. It really made me more humble than I ever was. I made this vision where I want to be able to teach combat skills to those that are be going to combat, but I want to do it as a civilian because I kind of got to do that when I came over from combat. I was training the next units to get ready to go. So I started a company called Lead Tactics. It uh, covers the, the crisis training side for threat response, but also covers the development side of leadership. Because what I want to do really is just empower and create other Lead Tactics instructors around the country and working out there in their communities. It's not about me. It's all about those that didn't make it home. The best stories to tell are the ones from people that can't tell anything at all. It's done through us. And that's how those that didn't make it home live on, is through us that can tell their story.